So on your third assignment, I believe, all right, we're back at the home screen. We're going to modules, and this is your new project, all right, your first project of the semester. All right, it's called North American Architecture Part Project. So we're going to choose this assignment, and we're going to open, okay, this link. Okay, once we've opened this link, you are not going to be able to type on here. So what you're going to need to do is wait for it to load. You're going to go to File, and then Make a Copy. And this is going to allow you to edit it. All right, so you're going to hit OK. You're going to make a copy of it. And once you've done that and it's loaded, then you'll be able to type on this. Okay, so that's what you want to be able to do. You want to be able to fill out your research on online. Okay, so if it's not letting you edit, that means you didn't make a copy. So please make sure you do that first. Once you're here, you're going to go step by step. All right, step one, you got to choose which architecture um, you want to do research on. Okay, the U.S. Capitol Building, Independence Hall, Notre Dame Basilica of Montreal, the Golden Gate Bridge, or the 9-11 Memorial and Museum. Museum, not a bad pronunciation. All right, so uh, I'm going to choose Independence Hall. So I'm going to type Independence Hall. All right, then here comes the, the research. All right, and again, I mentioned before, you can't use Wikipedia, so you have to find credible sites. So uh, we open up Google. I'm going to type in Independence Hall information. Okay, and I previously know that I couldn't find anything on this website, so that's why I'm skipping it. All right, and uh, we're going to open up ushistory.org. Okay, .orgs and .govs are usually a safe bet that they're credible. All right, um, maybe not 100% of the time, but usually they are. Um, if it's not a .gov or a .org, all right, you got to use your best judgment to find out if it's actually factual and credible. Okay, so with this, all right, you got to read through all the information provided for. All right, and you are looking for the year open to use. So if we go back here, uh, you're reading along. Right? It wasn't until 1753, 20 years after groundbreaking, before it was completed. All right, so 1753. All right, now you may not be able to use all of or find all of your information on one website. Okay, so once you have found everything that you can on one website, hit Control C for Control Copy up here. All right, you're going to go back, and there's a spot down here where you can keep track of your sources. Okay, so you just paste your, your link here, and that's where, and I know, hey, you got some of your information from that website. All right, and then you got to find a new website to find any information you couldn't on uh, that particular one you started with. Okay, so please make sure you fill out each portion, okay, and fill in the proper amount. Like some say six to seven complete sentences, some say two to three, some say one to two, all right? You do need to fill out, okay, with the proper amount of information. That's the whole point, all right? Um, you're going to be able to tell what you're graded on by going back here and scrolling down, okay? The accuracy and the amount of information is a third of your grade. So please make sure you don't lack in information. Okay. Now, once we've gotten all of the information done, okay, imagine you've done all this. All right, then you're moving on to step three and you're creating a presentation. All you're doing is taking the information that you've already found and putting it in a presentation tool. Okay, and you can choose the presentation tool. You can do a poster. You can do uh, Google Slides. You can use Spark, uh, Canvas, Prezi, all right? I don't care. All right. I would say Google Slides is probably the easiest. All right. But if you're a person that needs to do it with your hands, do a poster. All right. Um, if you don't like Google Slides, use Canva or Spark or Prezi. It's up to you. But you have to know how to submit it. All right. I am not going to sit here and explain every single presentation tool and how to submit this. All right. So if you choose it, you better be able to understand and know how to submit the presentation. Okay. It's very important to understand. Now, along with the information that you include in this presentation, you need to also include three images that help represent what your architecture stands for. Okay, you can like what it looks, what it symbolizes, 
it needs to be three images, okay? Clear images, not pixelated, all right? Not drawn. If you do a poster like a two-year-old, all right? They need to be well-represented images of your piece of architecture. All right, once you've done that, now comes the double checking. All right, once you double checked, you have everything, then you are going to submit. Okay, you need to submit this particular copy of your research. Okay, so that's one thing. All right, so if you come over here and you try to hit submit assignment, okay, you're going to choose file. You're going to choose the Google Drive that you did all your information research on. Okay, so you'll attach that. And then you will attach by hitting add another file, you will attach your presentation. Okay, so you need to attach two things right, to this assignment. All right, the only time you're not going to use uh, the second file is if you do a poster. Okay, if you do a poster, right, you can bring it into class. All right, if you're a virtual student, you need to take a very clear and readable picture of your poster if you choose to do that. Okay. And then once you have attached both, you'll hit submit assignment. All right. Again, I know this is our first project, so if you do have any questions, please ask. I will always clarify.